What's going on guys and welcome to part four of the ultimate boombox build. This is the dual six and a half build and this is part four of it. If you haven't seen part one, two or three, head over to the description. I'll have those all linked down below as soon as all the videos are uploaded so I can get the links. So let's recap. We cut the holes in the top. We sound in the box. We put the switch in. We put the battery in. We haven't done the charging port yet, but we do have the power ran out of the battery hooked up and we have the grounding block ready what's next we got to put the amp somewhere now if you look on your amp you'll see where the antenna is it's right here the antenna is right here and this one has an extended antenna so i could use that i don't have to but general rule of thumb is you don't want to place it where the antenna is going to be facing backwards you would want it on this side but since this one has the extended antenna, I'm actually just going to mount it right here. It's easier to adjust. It looks cleaner and I can cover it up if I want to. So how am I going to attach it? Well, I think some of y'all already know. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more Velcro because honestly, that amp ain't going nowhere with this Velcro. I'll tell you that right now. Let's just get this Velcro cut up. This razor blade is shot. Remind me next time, guys, to get a new razor blade before I make a video. If you made it this far, go ahead and comment below. Make sure you get a new razor blade. One piece right there. Tear the backing off. And now we got to make sure that we place it a little bit higher than middle. That way, it's not too high, we can't get to these switches, and it's not too low where we have no room to run the wires, because we've got to get the speaker wires here, and we got to get the power wire here. Now, some people will be like, oh, well, you should have ran it on this side, because then the power could go there, and then the speakers. You're right. I could have. I would have flipped the box, uh, the battery around, so the DC charging port's there, but honestly, there's a million ways and a million different things you can do for this. This is just my normal on how I do it. Plus, I like having the IPX connection here, so I can just go ahead and drill a hole here and put the hidden antenna there. That will be in another video, so stay tuned for that one. Now, we got to go ahead and hook this thing up. So what do we need to do that? Well, we need a DC plug. Now, like I said in previous videos, guys, any of the stuff that I'm using will be linked in the videos below. So make sure you check those out. Because I'll tell you now, the little connector the amp comes with isn't very good. I much rather have these on hand, especially if you plan to build a couple of these. So since this is my furthest item right now, I'm gonna put it right in the middle because these two don't have nothing on them, but later on I might add something to them. Then I can glue this down. So what I'll do, just for time's sake, is I'll use a little CA glue right now. I would normally just use some super glue, but CA glue is a lot faster with the accelerant. So I'll just go ahead and spray a little right there, pop that down, and it'll hold it down for this video. If you don't have CA glue, I also have that link down below. And now I need a two lever connector, but hey, if you want to add more stuff down the road, like I said, go ahead and prepare for more stuff. Blue and red from the switch go in. Red from the amplifier goes in. Well, red to the amplifier goes in. Find a nice little spot for it. Add a little dab of glue. This stuff isn't super strong on the sound dinner, so if you do need to remove it, you can. Now, regular super glue, after it cures, will hold it down pretty well. You could also use hot glue if you prefer that method. Now, whoop. I didn't hold it long enough. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now I can go ahead and plug in the amplifier, and now we can test the switch. Turn the amplifier on, and you should see a little blue light right here light up. 
There you have it. And it is searching for a connection. So at this point, guys, this part of the build is done. So part four of the build is done. Thank you all for watching. Let's head over to part five.